Hello, my name is Yuta Ogura. I'm from Japan. Today, I'd like to talk about new concept and the method to analyze music. In this research, we especially pay attention to the notion of unexpectedness. We use a probabilistic increment puzzle and estimate where the unexpectedness occurs. First of all, let me explain the background of this study. We did a study on cognitive music theory. Cognitive music theory is different from conventional music theory. Conventional music theory is a tool for creators such as for composing and arranging music. Alternatively, cognitive music theory focuses on the cognitive process of the listener. It is a theory of music analysis that considers the question, how do we understand music? Generative syntax model, GSM, is one of the cognitive music theory. GSM is developed by Rob Meyer and analyzes the harmonic structure of a piece of music. To explain this model, please listen to this chord progression first. When you heard this G7 chord, didn't you feel something unstable? Resting G7, we expect the following chord. When C major 7 is coming, we feel the expectation has been realized. Based on these cognitive processes, GSM expresses the structure of expectation realization in a harmonic progression recursively and hierarchically. The GSM makes the possible by defining a context-free grammar based on music cognition. However, there is a problem with GSM. GSM can't express the cognitive structure in the middle of a piece. In other words, GSM only takes into consideration the cognitive structure after listening. Why is the cognitive structure in the middle of a piece so important? The next example is a little different from the previous one. Please listen carefully. In this time, the D first seventh chord is inserted, which is unexpected. We assume that this kind of unexpectedness is what makes music so interesting. In order to discover and evaluate this unexpectedness, we think that we need to represent the cognitive structure for each success chord. Next, I want to talk about the method to achieve this, the probabilistic incremental puzzle. First, I'd like to talk about probabilistic context-free grammar. The grammar set up in the original GSM does not have the concept of probability, so it is not possible to compare multiple press trees that appear during the parsing process. Therefore, we have extended the GSM grammar to PCFD. In PCFD, each syntactic rule is assigned a conditional application probability. This makes it possible to compute the probability of occurrence of the entire purse tree and to compare purse trees with each other. To estimate the probability parameters, we use the Judge Harmony Tree Bank. The Judge Harmony Tree Bank is a dataset of hand annotated syntax tree for Judge pieces. We estimated the probability parameters by counting the syntactic rules used in this corpus. Next, I'll be talking about the incremental chart parsing. Incremental chart parsing is a method devised for natural language processing. That can express the state in the middle of parsing. In this part, I won't go into details of algorithm, but this is accomplished by st storing the result of the analysis at each step in the chart. With this extension, we can introduce the measure of unexpectedness. I'm going to give you more details about definition in the next section with analyzing a piece. Before moving on to the next section, let's talk about the proposed system. This is our implemented system for incremental harmonic analysis called Expectation-Based Code Sequence Analyzer, EXO. As you can see, 
If it's cut secret in the text box, you can check the harmonic structure and measure of an expectedness for each success chord. In the next section, we will explain the results with this system. Let's go on to the next section. In this section, I will use the famous jazz piece, Cured, as a case study to explain how incremental structure analysis works and how to evaluate an expectedness. Before we talk about the analysis by Axel, let's listen to the jazz piece called Cured. In this song, the first four measures D minus seven, D seven, C major seven, are two five one of the C major key. The following birds five and six are also two five in the key of C major. Then we would expect to come C major seven, which is the same chord as before. But actually, the chord D minus seven is inserted, and from here D minus seven, C seven, F major seven. It is a 2-5-1 in the key of F major begins. In terms of unexpectedness, we can predict the unexpectedness will exist in this area. Okay, now let's take a look at the result of the extra analysis. For each step, we will explain the transition of the street structure. The first chord is D-7. At this step, multiple tree structures are predicted. These tree structures are sorted in order of generation probability. The question mark indicates the next expected chord in the structure. We think that the ranking indicates how reasonable the representation of the cognitive structure is. Next chord is the seventh. From these steps, we focus on the tree structure with the largest generation probability and we think where it came from. Let's rewind one step. So you can see that this tree structure has grown from being in first place in the previous steps to rise in rank to become first place. Let's move on to the next chord. The next chord is C major 7. In this case, C major 7, there is no change in the ranking and the probability remains the same. It can be said that this is a change where the code predicted in the previous step will be revised as it is. Let's move on to the next code. Next code is D-7 again. In this case, to rise in rank and to add the substructure I happened at the same time. In summary, we can see that there are three types of transitions. Here, we want to discuss an expectedness. We will focus on rising rank and add substructure. So, define an expectedness U as the scarcity of the source tree structure in the previous code step multiplied by the probability of generating the newly added substructure. In this definition, the smaller the value of U is, the more unexpected it is. Let's plot the value of u for all measures. It can be seen that the value of u decreases from 6 to the 7th part, which is a part where 251 in the key of F measure appears. In other words, the value of u reflects the change in the sense of tonality. Here is a conclusion. First, in this research, we focused on the cognitive structure for each success chord. Second, we extend GSM with probabilistic context-free grammar. And we implemented analysis system and defined the measure of an expectedness. Finally, as the case study showed, the proposed measure U reflects the an expectedness in the sense of tonality. That concludes my presentation. Thank you for your attention.